Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I should have flashed here. The thing is, but... just keep running. Like, you shouldn't really be scared. Like, keep running, keep running, keep running. She's gonna throw cocoon. Okay. Do you wanna be here? Flash here instantly. Because it's like you're dodging, but then you know you're gonna flash anyways. It's like, yeah. okay. Then don't dodge and keep going because you wanna increase the distance. Like here, I would literally walk up like that. And when I see her, boom, just flash here. And I'll try to then kite. Because now you see, you see you're clicking right here. Look at this. Okay, sure, this one, but then this one as well. Look at your clicking. Should be all the way. All the way up here, yeah. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Besides seeing in today's video, we're going to learn about mid game rotations, macro, how to play properly, how to control the mid game. Should you group? Should you stay with your teammates? You're going to have all the answers in this video. It's going to be an amazing video that you should watch until the end because there are so many tips that can help you in any rank you play. If you want to play ADK, definitely subscribe to this channel, like and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out any bit of content from this channel. Check out my coaching session from the description if you want to get better 10 times faster. Enjoy. I think I got a call here. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. Oh, you go mid now? Uh, yeah. It's kind of bad though. Because if you didn't get bot tower right here, and you go mid, then you only need to go bot. The problem is that... Mid... I wanted to establish here pressure for the, for the grabs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing is, you're Caitlyn, you have level 8, and you've got one item. And by establishing pressure, you're basically telling Yone, hey bro, go bot lane. And I got it. But it's like, if, I, if you really ask me on the street tomorrow, you say, hey Andrew, I want to ask you something. Yone is bot lane with level 10 with Bork. He's going to recall soon is with Bork. And Caitlyn is mid and we fight for the grubs. Or Yone is mid. He is level 10. He has one item. And we fight for the grubs. And Caitlyn mm. is bot. Which one do you think you'd prefer? Okay. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Because you're very lucky. You're like, oh, I'm going to go mid lane. You're very lucky. This is a level 7 at least. And you're level 8. This is just a level 8. It's more But I know what's going to happen next game when there's going to be a Syndra level 10 and uh, Ukong level 11. And you're level 8. I want to see what happens when you move mid. I know what happens. Ouchie. Oh, <laughs> Gotta be very careful when you make this rotation. Yes, some people would say if Yone has TP, it's optimal for him to go bot lane because he has TP. But you see, you have to think about that. And second of all, it's solo queue, so they will not do it anyways. So mm. this is why the rule of let me get super strong before I group mid. So let me take the tower first before I group mid is usually a good rule of thumb. Would you also roam if they get tower? Uh, if they get tower, you usually try to play for the tower. Because if, if, if they get tower, usually he's level 9 and he's like 4-0 and you're like 1-2. If they get tower and you go mid and you fight with an affiliate that is stronger than you because he got tower. That's how we started the conversation. He got tower, he's stronger than me. Mm -hmm. Then I wouldn't group mid lane then. I'll try to be bot, keep pushing, try to get a tower. And after I get a tower, I recall and I play mid. So you try to get strong again? Uh... Yes. And then I go mid lane. Unless, mm -hmm. of course, there is these situations where it's Zed mid lane, Nocturne jungle. Okay, in that case, you have a reason to group a bit earlier and just catch the wave from the second tower. Mm-hmm. But the most important thing is take the tower so you can do a deep push like a LEC coach calls a deep push when you can push and for about 45 seconds you don't need to come back to bot. If you're here, you push that wave and you go mid lane, you need to come back because this tower is going to kill the minions and Aphelios will push the minion back. But if you're here and you push the wave, the wave is going to go here in the second yeah. tower. So when Aphelios is going to push again, he's going to push into this tower. So you have so much so much uh, um, so much space exactly. so this is a deep mm -hmm. push so this is why you're grouping mid lane after you get the tower so you can do that deep push so you have a lot of time to you know stay mid do a lot make a lot of plays and if you want you could consider going back to bot lane to catch that wave so this is definitely a gold mistake mm -hmm. going grouping mid this early because well First of all, you have no, no resources to, to take care of mid lane. He pushes and you have a big wave that you just missed. Second of all, you're so weak that you're going to be up against a Nasu that is level 10 with plated boots and Trinity. You would not. And, and not even like, I'm not so, so weak right now because you have one item. But an early, a Syndra, a Yone, a Nasus with one item and a Caitlyn with one item. It's like you're so weak compared to them. A Yone with yeah. Bork or a Syndra with Ludens. Or a Nari with malignance, you can't even compete with that shit. Mm -hmm. That's why 
Okay, so we see here a mid game macro decision. Like now, Philos gets many plays bought. Elise is there for some reason, and now we get the uh, we get Herald. But we're gonna lose a lot. We're gonna lose a lot actually. Okay, and we're gonna place the Herald when the plates are down, which is also a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you prioritize to get the Herald, then you got Herald when now there is no play. Like this is, this Herald doesn't really matter because the plates are down. Hmm. Yeah, That's... this was a bad combo. Oh, I thought that that would have to ult here. I don't know why. I should have done the second auto and just walk off because now I have no mana for the push. <laughs> Very good. The, the W is super good. Let's see how you play this though. So, so I should have pushed here with the grabs. Well, at this point, you are mid lane. They are all bot lane. Since I were already so ideally, of course, you should be bot now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. If you can catch the wave, push the wave, take the tower. You know, just play for the tower before the group mid. But if you don't do that, then you push mid, and then you look at Nidali to see. If she needs your help, but since it's grubs and it's not like a herald and Alice mm -hmm. is bot lane, you, what you're doing right here is very good. Hmm, didn't play very well. Like here we saw Alice bot, like you see it right, right here on the minimap. Yeah, so yeah. when Bar does this, you can easily follow. You can easily follow because you know where they are. You can take the portal and then this double is also bad. Because she will never like go that way. So you got super lucky here. Mm-hmm. I had to actually got the kill. That's fine. 800 gold. They got both tower. Push. I will stay on the left angle here to have a needle in case they, they okay, come from both. But since yeah. you have triangle vision here, it's it's okay. You can stay mid pocket here. Try to get the tower. And now I have 1000 gold. You could think about recalling. Can't really kill them. Yeah. Pretty nice. You ignore the bard. This is good. You, I mean, he can't. You can't save them. This mm -hmm. is very nice. He ulted. You can't really do anything. So what I would do here is I would click here, go like that, go like this, click on the tower again, click here, click here, and I'll go towards Nidali. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to greet for the tower, and then of course when I see Elise, run. So you did you did very good, and then now, like there is no reason for you to to do anything here. Your jungle is top. Bard is dead. There is no reason to flip it. So now just recall. You have 1,000 gold, buy, and then play from there. That's how you should play it, because mm -hmm. now this combo is meaningless. Now you have no mana, and look at the, his HP. You could, yeah. If you recalled, you'd be base now, and then you come, and this wave is going to be in the middle, this wave is going to be in the middle. And have mana and uh, more AD. Yeah, and you can perma push mid, and Aphilos didn't recall. He got the bot tower, he didn't recall. So you have like tempo on him. Let's see. See, 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 see. Interesting. I mean, I suspect that there will be a lot more things in the in the laney phase. This one, it was more around Bard is roaming and I need to adapt. I just need to play safe, which you did very well. I want to see how you play aggressive. Are you having trouble converting your early game advantages into wins? Feel like your damage output is lower than it should be and you feel like you're putting in the work but you're not seeing really the results? My name is Pizai with a track record of coaching over 3659 players with ranks between Iron and Challenger. Here is what I've accomplished with my clients. Right here you can see silver one to emerald four in one month time with one coaching session this guy right here got to grandmaster in na after when the first coaching session we've done he was hard stuck in diamond two alex right here he was gold for one year and a half ago and he got to grandmaster 800 lpp after the coaching session here is his master account after just being a gold player a year and a half ago this is what the coaching session can do to your game and here is something that you might find inspiring i've personally climbed from iron to diamond with dealing with 200 ping now i'll actually get mastered here with 200 ping on this account that you're gonna see right now as you can see right here this is emerald one with very decent win rate on some of the champions and i'm playing 
pretty well in high emerald to low diamond and i actually play ezreal as well as you guys can see right here and i'm not really scared if i can achieve this against high emerald players and low diamonds playing with such a huge handicap 200 ping ezreal imagine what we can accomplish together with you playing under optimal conditions are you ready to see the real progress that you can do go to besides.com and book your coaching session now let's improve and get better together so what item do you go now? Uh, what item? Mm -hmm. um, uh, how is it called? Lord Dominic's. Okay, is it for the Nasus? Uh, yeah. The problem is that you're not really gonna... Well, first of all, he doesn't have that much armor. Lord Dominic's is good when he's having at least one item of, of you know, big mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. One finished. Yeah, one finished, so I wouldn't take that. And plus, you're not going to have damage for these people. Okay, so infinity edge here a second. Always. It's a big mistake. Because it's... so. I usually do that, I usually do that. It's basically like you're saying, like, oh, you know, they have Elise, and let's say they have Lissandra. No problem, I'm going to go QSS the second item. Like, yeah, but who's going to do damage? Like, mm -hmm. oh, but at least I'm going to escape, you know? Yeah, but who's going to do damage? Because you're gonna escape, but you're gonna be useless. So this mm -hmm. is why you always like first and second items. Ninety nine point nine percent of the case is the same. Oh shit, the same. Because if you go for the, if you go for this, well, there are multiple problems here. It's so like first of all, they don't have tanks yet, and you don't have infinity edge. That's a big thing. They do, you don't have infinity, so you're not going to do damage on anyone else. And yes, if, ta if the Nasus is a problem, you can go third Lord Dominic's, but I can't skip. You can't skip infinity edge. Mm -hmm. Plus, in this case, it's actually Soraka. So you need more to remind her. Right? Oh. <laughs> they have Nasus, oh, Soraka. Yeah. You need more to remind her. It's a big thing. Big, big thing. And then here, just Ulti. Ulti Soraka. Look, she's, she's alone. No one can tank it. When you see this, even if you ulti now and they try to tank it, they can't. Because, look, they're too far from her. So ulti, boom, it's a Soraka. So she's using her HP to heal people. If her HP is low, she needs to recall, which is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just like ulting people for, for the sake of it, getting them low. Yeah, unless they have Bloodthirster or a Lifesteal. Or, mm -hmm. But uh, Soraka doesn't have healing. Okay, then you recall here. I see. Hmm. Interesting. That's not good, though. I yeah, I was like, I was like watching a video before. I think it was before that game or the game even before that, and it was about this this rank one Caitlyn, uh, the Metro. Metro Archer, yeah. But it's a Metro different playstyle. Yeah. He plays yeah, with Halo and, Blades and, and he plays with different rooms. Yeah, and he goes for like he goes for full ability and Lord Dominic second, and I was like, mm, yeah. I feel like this is going to do much in this game, even because of the Nessus. That's fine. So but, if you have his playstyle, uh, yeah, yeah. because you see what he has here, mm -hmm. something that he don't have. This is going to give a lot of damage. A lot, okay. because it's a 20 minutes is 14 AD, and this one is, I don't even think, absolute focus. So you are level 11, 11 AD, so it's going to be 25 AD, that is a lot. If you get 10, 10 them, yeah, 10, uh, pick, pick action. so it's, it's quite a lot, Yeah, it's quite a lot. So you see, if you try to copy these strategies, that is fine. But one, understand why they are doing it, and two, try to do it as they do it. You can't do that, and you see he's starting longsword, he's starting a field, so he has a specific playstyle. Uh, mm -hmm. this guy. So I think it's good, but not in this variation of build. Yeah. Very nice. So far, it's the mid game that is holding you back. I need to see a bit closer the early game. See, so sure we we can go mid to late game to see like what you we can do that, done, yeah. or uh, we can also go for the first game that you uploaded and see a bit of the early game. What do you think is the more productive? Hmm, um, I think I played the early game of the other game. 
pretty good as well. What match so, was it? I think it was with like uh, Alistair against poof, Ash and Poppy. Was it that game? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, I fucked up an early fight. I know that, but I think we should we should go for the late game. Perfect. Let's see the late game. So now in the mid game, you need to hover your CC, usually jungle and support. So let's see what you're gonna do after pushing mid lane. You can hover your support. This is not so good what you're doing right now. You're you're doing something that is like I'm waiting the wave, which is not good. Like the moment you did push I here, did it a lot. Yeah. Like now, you push. So now go get vision, go recall if you have to recall. Stay with the bard, hover him from behind, do something because now, okay, but I'm staying mid. I'm waiting the wave. You're waiting the yeah, wave. The wave didn't even here. respond. The wave didn't even respond. And recall we have five seventy. Mm. If you have Lord Dom. Uh, you sure? I don't think you have it. It's 250. Isn't it 950? Wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah, it's 250, okay. Alright, yeah. this is bad then. This is bad then. Then you should have recalled a while ago. Yeah. Wait, oh, you die here, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it does here it does two fifty. Yeah, just clear the wave, go back. Yeah, uh, unless sorry. unless they're fighting, which they're not right now. They are pushing, they're pressuring, but they have Lord Dom. So I would go there, I would recall, and if Bard is gonna ulti it then and then I would consider staying with them because you're quite decent right now. But if I'm recalling and they're not fighting, then you can just mm -hmm. recall. Yeah, okay. I lost so much power here. And then here, at least push. And then you recall. can recall, of course. Or if you don't have the item, at least hover Bard. Just go towards Bard and pay attention to the next wave. The next wave didn't even spawn. So he can keep hovering Bard as he's going and maybe face checking. Okay, he shouldn't face check because Nidalee is dead. But if he's taking some vision or putting some defensive boards, you should be with him. Look at him. You should be behind him because the wave is there. There. You had From now, you have 10 more seconds that you can stay with Bard before you need to be mid. Mm-hmm. We didn't to use the time that you have here to, to do something with him. And here you're actually not paying attention to the goal. That is not good. That is not good. Look, you push this. And one of the most important things on AD carry is to get items. Look. Rico, 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 Rico. And here, here I was like watching the Herald and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I have to, I have to help it. <laughs> Which is stupid, and then then I, I realized that it's not gonna do anything. If everyone then... is mid, if everyone is mid, and they are like going with the herald, sure, you might overextend. Mm. But it's like this mid, either he's going top, board is top. Yeah, yeah. And here I was mm. like, yeah, okay, I have to, I have to let the herald go. It's not gonna do anything. But um, uh, then I was like, oh, but I have to save the tower, and then I die, and. I wouldn't have died if I recalled for the Dominics. Yeah, or if you had cleanse yeah. here immediately, you're fine here too. Yeah. Hmm, I see. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, late game here is pretty straightforward. You need to just hover your teammates. After mm -hmm. you get push mid, you hover needle and you hover bard. You just want to go with the flow. On AD carry, you're not very I make the play kind of thing unless you play Varus, Ash, maybe Jin. You just have to follow plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that was something I did good when I uh, had success on Kogma. But then again, like, uh, it, it was the meta where you played Ghost, right? Yes. And you used Ghost on ADC. And I felt that I was so much faster to the plays with Ghost. I was pushing mid. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take one more wave because I can ghost on top lane to the fight and still be there on time. And this I can't do anymore because I don't play ghost, but I sometimes play like it. Yeah. You have to... You really have to try to adapt your gameplay. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super important. Uh, but yeah, right here, it's about chances. Like now, you go to mid, you take this, 
that's good and then now look at your jungle and look at your support they're on the drake the wave mid lane is here so you have a play that is close to you you should choose the play if it's a good play or you have the wave mid lane or the drake since your jungle and support mm -hmm. are there so usually you, you choose the way the top lane play the problem in this case what top lane play this guy is 06 it's a nasus it's a smolder if your teammates are not there you can't do anything there mm -hmm. right so in this this one okay sure if they are low or if you know you're super strong let's say you're 5-0 and the chances of you killing them is high definitely fuck the drake fuck the mid lane you choose to play 100 percent but not in this one. You're playing against level 15 Nasus tank. And look what you're doing. You're choosing to go top instead of going mid. In this specific case, with these specific players, and with jungle and support bot, you should choose the Drake. Push mid, take Drake, and give up top. Mm -hmm. Because this right here... Look at you. I'm doing nothing. You're doing nothing. You could have pushed mid, and when Bard is there, you can always go back to, to them. Yeah, but you push mid, so you force Elise and Aphelios to go... To go uh, to catch the wave mid. Because this worked, but you see Elise, her but positioning right like, here. Yeah, okay. It worked not because it did something good, but because they did something bad. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Caitlyn is a very good champion that you have. Your combos are very smooth. Your spacing is fine. The only concern I have is... Uh, sometimes you're a bit lazy for the... For yeah, the for kiting, the yeah, mm. that's that's the only mechanical th stuff I uh, I uh, don't like. Okay, right here you take the Baron. So remember that after you take the Baron, just recall immediately so you guys can be at the same time in the lane. Because now, because you push this top wave, you see Jax is already on the map, Bard and Nidalee they are already on the map. Look at Yone. So in another case, they would be here on the map pressuring, and you're in base. So. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend you doing this kind of like overextension to go top. In this specific case, Yone is also overextending, Bard is also overextending, Nidalee is also overextending, and you have two dead timers here. The wave top is super close to you. You had some words there. So in this specific case, it's not bad, but you might do this in other games where everyone recalls, and it's not good. So you need to be cognizant that you're losing tempo here. And mm -hmm. usually, I would overextend top if I can buy something like, okay, I push this, but I can buy Infinity Edge. Okay, then it's worth but it doesn't look like that because look at your gold when you left that base. Just push yeah. the wave that didn't even give you anything. So this is what I call a grandmaster mistake, a, temp a tempo mistake. Until grandmaster, people don't understand tempo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the, yeah, but I get it. I get it. What do you mean? The so early uh, on. Yes, mm -hmm. please. Uh, we used to talk about things like that in team play. Yes. Um, because here it matters, right? Yes, 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 yes. So, so far, you weren't respecting the... Okay, so this is good in team play, this rotation. Because, you know, obviously, you know, you go mid, you guys push two lanes, it's better than pushing one lane. But in solo, it's actually better to stay with them here. I because don't get it, maybe. Is they fight, and you're not there, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Right? And you are ADK, you need to fight. So it's better for Bard to actually go mid. Me, even for Yone, if you STP, even for Nidalee, because you're super important in the fight. Because now, they all fight, you ping them like they could do anything if they get engaged. But this, you see here? Mm -hmm. He just died for Not free. Perfect. Not good. This is a platinum mistake. So it is something big. Why? It's because you had the game in your hands. We have better, we're pushing. GG. They fight, you have flash, you have trap, GG. And guess what? Every time when you someone dies like that, it's not just one minute dead timer. It's more than that. It, it's like two to three minutes. Why? It's because they have small than and, and Nasus. So even any small windows you give to those champions, they will scale. And you will not be able to end the game after. So be very careful with this. We need to stay with the teammates in cases like this. So so here it's a lot about rotations, uh, backports. Yeah, so like here, you want to hover them because you're Caitlyn and you just want to be in the fight. Mm. You could split push if you know they're not going to get engaged or if you know that, you know, you can take so much that enemy team can't, can't uh, do anything. 
sure, but the easiest play is stay with your teammates, either fight to them, or just, even if you are I'm there and you throw Qs, it's, it's better, because now you're risking everything, you're risking everyone dying there, look, Yone almost died here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely should have stayed. And they don't have engaged. They have Smolder, Soraka, Elise, and Aphelios. I mean, yes, someone, someone is going to get eat by Elise, but imagine they had Orn, Malphite, or a human engage. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here I guess it's just over before it uh, starts. Yeah, it's Let's just see. an int. We okay. get pushed away from him. And I mean, it's 4 versus 5, right? Yone went in. Yeah, this is pretty much, I think this is it's good that you stay here, but it was over before it started because of what you did before. Because the moment yeah. you, you, you see how low the Yone is before the fight starts. And you don't have Bard ulti, we don't have a lot of resources here. And it's because we kind of gave up. Because you went mid, and then they used everything there, and then now we can't <laughs> fight. So it's bit of a butterfly effect that you lost that one and because you did that now you like this is just lost it's kind of in the laney phase what you did you didn't get push early on okay the next three minutes good mm -hmm. luck have fun okay very nice you're gonna die anyways but a good try Let's see yeah i don't know if i should have flashed here the thing is but... just keep running like you shouldn't really be scared like, keep running, keep running, keep running. She's gonna throw Cocoon. Okay. Do you wanna be here? Flash here instantly. Because it's like you're dodging, but then you know you're gonna flash anyways. It's like, yeah. okay. Then don't dodge and keep going because you wanna increase the distance. Like here, I would literally walk up like that. And when I see her, boom, just flash here. And I'll try to then kite. Because now you see, you see you're clicking right here. Look at this. Okay, sure, this one. But then this one as well. Look at your clicking. Should be all the way. All the way up here, yeah. Yeah. Nice, you're selling the item. Okay, I see. So you basically just threw the game. <laughs> yeah. With the uh, with the macro rotations. And then now you push both. You should push one more and then join your teammates. I hope you don't push one more. You're very good. Ideally, you should be in the fight before the Drake spawns, like 20 to 30 seconds. Because you want to set up traps, you're Caitlyn. So if you set up traps, they can't, can't go in into the pit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this game was 12 more minutes. How? Oh. 1.9k gold. Ah, you're staying. Uh... I, see. I see why. Because same thing with the tempo, right? It's like, look, you did this, you have 1.9k gold, everyone died in enemy team, you all have 2k gold, Yone recalls, Reasons, literally yeah. takes, the, takes the buff, she recalls soon. Let's see, and then you keep staying, keep staying, keep staying, keep staying, keep staying. And then Idri does the same mistake, the Yone plays it good, and then no Yone is on the map, yeah, true, but now... You yeah, we keep... should have been on Baron now. Exactly, in high elo you lose Baron here because of this. And now you lose all pressure. Someone has to face check. So if someone dies right here, it's your bad. Let's see. If someone face checks, like if Bard dies, and you're super lucky because they have Smolder. If they didn't have like, if they have a useful champion, like a Lissandra there, Bard can die. Yeah, okay. So he died. And then now it's just... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just push out and pray. Very good. Oh, she dodged it. Crazy. Okay, I would have liked the trap here. But it was a high intensity moment, so maybe it didn't. Uh... And then here it worked for the EW. Like. E yeah, here, okay. double in front of you, and then just go like that. And then, okay, eventually you can flash over the wall, but you can play with Bard then on that pit. 
I mean, I guess I should have eat over the wall, and here, like, I just yeah. But the thing is, all when, my brain cells. When 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 he's gonna double you like you like this, you can't really eat here, right? You need to be here. Yeah. So you have to be very patient with the e. Then we end up dying here. Okay, I see. Yeah, so this is the story of this game. Uh, early on, we lost the push and we didn't communicate good with the bard. Um, and then after we lost the push, it was a bit like over. The positioning could have been better in the laney phase. Then the recalls were good. Some situations you didn't actually tell your teammates to help you to push the waves. Mm -hmm. Then in the mid game, we did group way too early on mid lane. And that made it so Aphelios gets a lead. Uh, then we got the Baron. We played good with the team, but then you didn't actually stick with your teammates. You tried to push mid and then we threw. And then now this happens. Like in many, many cases, the recall timings is a problem. The fact that you keep staying and pushing one more and one more and one more. You keep recall yeah, on the map. Like one more. It's just like one yeah. more all the time. And it's like, it's worth it if you can buy something nice. Like it's like, oh yeah, I bought the dagger. It's not worth it just for a dagger, you know, because you're just wasting your time. And this is the story of this game. You lose this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt like <laughs> it was kind of my fault. Yeah, I think you could have uh, you could have played much better. I would mm. I wouldn't blame yourself. I would be like, you can you could have played it better for sure. This game could have you could have made it like you have to think that a diamond player will win this game. And what can I do to improve? What do I need to improve to, you know, become a diamond player? And you kind of have the answer for today. Um, it's like, I think 30% in the laney phase and then the rest later on. But honestly, what happened in the laney phase and that it didn't get pushed. And if you play Caitlyn, it will hold you a lot more back than 30%. Because laney phase is everything on Caitlyn, most mm -hmm. of the cases. Okay. You are strong. Wait. <laughs> we still get uh, one more chance. But you should you should push top here. You should not go mid. Look at you. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how. push top. You have the tower. You can get inhibitor top. They recall into going Drake. Drake is like forty five seconds. Yes, mm -hmm. the rotations in the later stages. Okay. Hmm. I do suspect that. Let me see. Here. What's gonna happen? You have an Alistar. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we got shit on here. <laughs> well, we don't have clans. I know it. <laughs> oh, Should yeah. have face checked here anyway. So. Uh, okay. And now. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. It's good that we did this session, but it's a lot of things in the lane phase. Pay attention to this. Most important thing with the Alistar is to get the push. You, you play Kate against Ash. If they get the push, they will perma poke you. So now, when they are there, you should stay on the left here and keep pushing. Of course, there is Poppy, so she could hex dash flare, so you have to be very careful. We can't stay under the walls. This is the perfect positioning. Like, mm -hmm. this is best. Because Ash can't double you, and Poppy can't double you from here, because you just walk like that. So you have to keep pushing and queue the wave. First, queue the wave, or just queue them like that. But now you're exposed. You see that you're... Because yeah, uh, Ash can W, is, you can't stay here. You can't stay here. So you, you could stay here, but no, you can't. It's Poppy. You can't stay here, you can't stay here, you can't stay here. You can't stay here, you can't stay here, you can't stay here. Okay, then this remains good. So, positioning in the laney phase. And here, this is super greedy because you could have just W. And then now, you need to get a push. This Q is bad, you should do it on Kate, on Ash, from the brush Q, and you mm -hmm. never attack the minions when you're in the brush. Because if you do it, you reveal yourself. I always, tried, uh, I always try to attack out of the brush. 
because of the passive that I get the headshot earlier. Oh, uh, you mean in the brush? Yeah. Yeah, but the if I is... attack out of the brush, I, I get the headshot in like two shots. Let's see. Because that's fine, but then you reveal yourself. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can find that. Um... Okay, ruler. His name. This one. Like, pay attention to. So, this is Emilio, like one of the strongest champions in the game early on, Emilio. Uh, mm -hmm. So, they can just run them down level one. But you see, you see the Q from the brush? It yeah, doesn't he reveal you. Mm. But then, look when he, he auto attacks, he goes out of the brush. You see that? Mm -hmm. and then now they all in because they have the W of Melio so it's super powerful and now they reveal themselves because they hit it from the brush but what you're gonna see is that one Kate every time when she last hits she's out of the brush pay attention to this look at the Caitlyn she pressures out of the brush when she wants to last hit she gets out of the brush last hits go into the brush mm. go out of the brush last hit go into the brush then boom shakalaka Q this is how humans play this champ. Because yes, you get crit faster, but the fact that they don't have vision in this brush and you can pressure it's makes scarier. Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. look at the Kate. It's so like and this is ruler, one of the best, even not the best dedicated in the world. He can't do shit here. Look at this. It's really difficult for him to play. And then he keeps queuing like that. As you saw. Mm -hmm. This is how mm -hmm. I want to play Kate. And okay. The biggest thing here is that he didn't even... Wait. He didn't even get the push here. You try to queue only the minions here. And I'm exposed. And, and yeah. then you're very exposed here. You should get the push first before anything else. Before even poking the Ash like this, you should get the push. You should maintain like a minion lead. You have three, they have three. This is not a minion lead. You need to have minimum one. Like if, mm. if you have three and they have two, that's fine didn't achieve that and then now you keep keep doing it you're hitting from the brush and then now you should queue again on cooldown like it comes immediately queue on the wave and if you can angle it like that so you can hit the ash as well it's fine that's fine keep pushing okay you get push very good you are super scared if i walk if i immediately walk up i can trap them here yeah, because you have you have uh, more minions. You need to pay attention to your how, how many minions you have. There is no way they get level two first. Okay, sure, she got level two because she got soul XP, but Poppy she needs a while. So here, look at you. You're clicking backwards. Okay, so we so everything that I said in this this session that the mid game is the biggest thing that is holding you back. It might be early game, but we need to see the next one a game when you're not playing with Bard and we, you play a fighting lane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it was like earlier in the fight, we would have won it's, it. It's here. Easy. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's just different. It's just different. Just much much different. And then it's GGBG. Okay, no problem. We talked about mid game and late game today, a bit of the early game, and next time we're gonna prepare uh, like an early game session. Maybe we can even do live if you want. So, mm -hmm. what do you think are the biggest things, Fabian, that we talked about today that are the biggest uh, aspects that we, we identified today? Yeah, first of all, the like uh, aggression in lane. How, how I should play the aggression in lane. And uh, first of all, to set up the runes, stuff like that. Okay. Um, rune summoners. Then the, the aggression and positioning in lane, how I move. Perfect. What else? Back timers and rotations. Perfect. So we have recall timings in the later stages, but also in general, we have a tendency to not pay 
much attention to the amount of gold we need in order to complete an item like you have it in base and it keeps staying and staying and staying okay the macro rotations macro rotations we tend to make uh, to to rotate on uh, lanes okay on fights that are pretty far and coin flippy instead of getting free wave you remember that fight mid lane when it's not so sense smaller you're yeah. never gonna get it in time push the mid lane uh, but also uh, we are grouping way too early on mid lane for grubs and also we are not hovering we're not always hovering teammates in late game and we try to stay uh isolated too much remember when you wanted to go mid lane yeah, uh, uh. this is the biggest thing okay and then uh, what else i think it's the i mean in its greediness or the tunnel vision in the fights yes tunnel vision inside of the fight but if you'd have to look to forget everything from this session you have to work until next time on the macro rotations watch the session again and see exactly mm -hmm. what fights are going flip, what fights are not going flip if it's too too far don't follow don't group too early like take the tower first on on bot lane and if you can't take the tower because they have a super strong champion that can you know kill you but if you're trying to take the tower then no problem you can go mid a bit earlier but this is the first thing that you have to work on the summary uh okay well Okay, so I think you played very, like so far, 35 more games on AD carry. Watch the session one more time. I think they should do it. So uh, you have great mechanics and spacing on Caitlyn. Really good combos. Easily diamond level. Uh, mid macro and rotations is pretty, is holding you back pretty hard. And we might find in early game huge things that are holding you back. But the mechanics are very good. So this is what you need to complete until the next session. And this is mm -hmm. what you have to work on right now. I, okay. I said 40%, as in for up to 40% of your... Uh, um, What's holding me back? The yes. biggest mistakes? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. I... I, I, I'm still not going to say this is your biggest mistake because I think we're going to find a lot in the early game. So next time we can do either a live game or we can do just a VOD review so we can see what is going on in the laney phase. Okay. I mean, I prefer the VOD review. Perfect. Because